listen, 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 listen. I think they should listen to this, Mr. Speaker. They have until the House rises today to table a motion of no confidence in the government. Tomorrow, or if any of the other parties, the smaller parties, fancy a go, they can table that motion and we'll give you the time for a vote. The truth is not just that this parliament is gridlocked, paralysed, and refusing to deliver on the priorities of the people, it's not just unable to move forward, it's worse than that, Mr. Speaker out of sheer selfishness and political cowardice, members opposite, members opposite are, unwilling, are unwilling to move aside and give the people a say. This is what they want to do. They are going to cancel the first referendum. They are going to legislate for a second referendum. And Parliament will promise that this time, perhaps not the lady opposite, but Parliament will promise that this time it really, really will respect that vote. And they think that the public will therefore vote to remain and everybody will forget the last few years. Mr Speaker, I have to say I think that is an extraordinary delusion and a fantasy. A fantasy even greater than the communist fantasies peddled by the Leader of the Opposition. Order, I, order, I appeal to the House to have some regard to how our proceedings are viewed by people watching them in the country at large. Order! Order! Let the remainder of the statement be heard. I'm grateful for the Prime Minister's exhortation, but I don't require it. I'm perfectly content. What I want to hear is the rest of the statement and then questioning on it. The Prime Minister. For two years they have demanded an election, but twice they have voted against it. The Leader of the Opposition changes his mind so often I wonder whether he supports an election today or whether the shadow chancellor or the shadow attorney general have overruled him again because they know that the voters will judge their manifesto for what it is more pointless delay is he going to demand perhaps he's going to demand an election and then vote against it i think the people of this country have had enough of it this parliament must either stand aside and let this government get Brexit done or bring a vote of confidence and finally face the day of reckoning with the voters. And I commend this statement to the House.